Yellow, Ralph McIntyre here with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in the video series Ask an Astrologer. Marge asks about Pluto Square Sun. Well, you know, anytime there's a Pluto aspect in the chart, it tends to be kind of interesting. So, let's step back and talk a little bit about Pluto, and we'll talk a little bit about Sun, we'll talk a little bit about squares, and then we'll kind of bring them all together. So, from an evolutionary perspective, Pluto is the planet of greatness. Pluto wants to kind of get you to let go of everything that's holding you back so you can achieve greatness. From my perspective, the more I dive into Pluto, Pluto's kind of where your superpower lies. Anywhere where Pluto's in your chart is where you have the capability of seeing the truth, seeing deep behind the scenes, the, the reality of what's really going on. It's also where you need to. It's also where you're the most blocked, potentially from early childhood trauma or past life karmic trauma. So we have this really powerful planet, Pluto, that gets a bunch of bad rap from traditional astrologers. And then we have the sun, which is arguably the most powerful planet in everyone's birth chart. The sun is the center of the solar system. As above, so below. It's the center of your chart. It's what illuminates everything in your chart. It is where your power lies. And so to have sun in aspect to Pluto, well, first of all, that makes a pretty, and I'm going to use quotes here, intense, powerful, depth. Usually when anyone's got a Pluto-sun interaction in any way, there's some depth to them. There's some complication to them. There's the ability to see and deal with more complex truths kind of the things that are more taboo. So the square aspect, from a traditional perspective, it's considered a less than favorable aspect. From an evolutionary astrologer aspect, I actually like squares. I think one of the easier, easier aspects to deal with. And here's why. With a square, there's tension. And, and wherever there's tension, you have to take action. So imagine like you have a little pebble of sand in your shoe. You may not take it out because it doesn't, it's not big enough to really bother you until it becomes a big issue. It's like really made it a havoc because you've just let it, you know, bother you and bother you and bother you. And then soon it, it, it you know, causes havoc. Now the square, that's tension. So that's like having a big rock where it's like you're taking that pebble out. You know, you're not going to get three or four more steps without taking that pebble out or dealing with the issue. And that's what's happening here with the sun Pluto square. So the beginning part of life with a sun Pluto square, you're going to be gaining the experiences. They don't have to be traumatic, not to say that they're not going to be traumatic, but they're going to have a depth of understanding. And you're going to have depth of understanding, which can cause trauma. You know, it's like seeing into people and then saying things, you know, and then they don't not ready to hear it, you know, it tends to cause trauma. So when you have a Pluto sun interaction, a square, so as we're talking about in this particular video, maturity is going to help you out. So as you grow into this aspect, as you start to learn how to utilize it better for yourself, you know, it's also kind of the aspect of a wise elder, you know, and so to be a wise elder, you need gray hair, so to speak. You need wrinkles, so to speak. You need maturity, you know. Not to say that you can't project that or to put that out into the world. Um, there's a fair amount of introspection needed, you know. 
a fair amount of looking at what's really holding you back, looking at the trauma, letting go of the trauma. Self-discovery is needed with this aspect. It's also an aspect of not for everyone. So the, the level of depth that's going to attract you, that main energy with connected to Pluto, you're going to want to dive into things. You're going to want to look at things that are deeper than most people can. Um, and most people don't want to. And so this is part of maturity. It's like, you know, as a young person, you might share your insights with just anyone. As you get older, you realize that I don't share my insights with people that aren't ready for them. You know, um, depending on where you have Pluto, if you have Pluto on any of the angles, if you have any planets in Scorpio, especially the Sun, Mercury, you have Pluto or the Sun in the 8th house, um, a lot of what I've said fits for you as well so this is a not an aspect to fear it's not an aspect to take lightly but it's not a fatal aspect it's actually a really powerful aspect i find pluto sun interactions to be some of the most valuable people to know you know so part of it is learning who to talk to learning who to share this insight with Learning how to utilize it to feed that main energy. Remember, your sun is the power source of your of your birth chart. The more you take care of the sun, the healthier you are. With a Pluto square sun, that sun wants depth. That sun wants truth. That sun wants to look behind the scenes into things and really understand them. So I hope this helps answer this question. I probably could talk for days on this particular subject. I'll probably do another video on it because Pluto is one of my favorite subjects. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Click like and subscribe. And also, if you click the notification bell, you will be notified when I put videos out. I have a bunch of offers in the description below. Um, you can do get readings. My website's there. I also sell astro cartography maps. I'm also doing a special on astro cartography one location. There's a link in the description below. If you do a comment on any of my Ask Astrologer or any of my videos and ask me a question, I will do my best to answer it for you in a video. All right, have a spectacular day. Thank you so much for watching.